A documentary filmmaker, Masafumi Kobayashi, reputed for his investigations into the unexplainable and paranormal, has gone missing after his house burned down, his wife dying inside. One of the last investigative projects Kobayashi worked on, detailed in his final documentary, focused on seemingly unrelated supernatural incidents that were connected to an ancient demon known as Kakutaba, a film filled with unusual circumstances, from possessions and occultist rituals rituals to psychic predictions and a lingering presence of discomfort. Kobayashi is to discover more than all his experience as a documentary filmmaker can prepare him for. This is Koji Shiraishi's Naroi, also known as Naroi the Curse, a horror film that implements aspects of the found footage genre, the shaky handheld cameras, the shift from spectacle shocks towards more smaller scale discomforts, and conveys it in the form of a mockumentary, framing Kobayashi's final documentary as a lost piece of work, to be viewed with the intention to understand his current whereabouts and why he disappeared. Masafumi Kobayashi is a fictional character, but Naroi the Curse is cleverly presenting the guise of a false documentary, which hosts another false documentary within it. Naroi the Curse may initially feel quite jarring as it jumps between different narrative threads, which may initially seem unconnected. A variety television program encouraging children to explore their psychic potential, focus on a young girl Kana and her success at performing seemingly psychic activity, a late night show with a Japanese actress who feels an uncomfortable presence amongst the trees after suggesting to the camera crew that she has always felt a connection to the supernatural, a supposed super psychic who exclaims about worms and pigeons, erratic and incoherent in behaviour most of the time, he holds clues to what might be at the centre of Kobayashi's investigation. The beginning of these narrative threads may feel irrelevant, but the further Shiraishi pushes his characters down these paths, connections become more apparent. Naroi the Curse establishes the scale of the threat at the centre of the film, and the width of influence it has over its wide cast of characters, possessions causing characters to behave as if they were sleepwalking, recurring symbols created by different characters who have never met, pigeons flying into glass and walls as if pulled in by an unseen force. The narrative ambition of Naroi the curse is vast, bringing together these unusual narrative threads towards a troubling, disturbing conclusion, which remains an enigma. The fictional conclusion is established from the very beginning. Kobayashi is missing. Refusing to solve his whereabouts, viewers of Naroi's The Curse are encouraged to speculate on what has happened. Naroi The Curse is a small budget production, using mostly unrecognisable actors, providing a sense of authenticity that these characters could be real people, real documentarians, real subjects, real families at the centre of this mystery. Naroi the Curse also avoids the formulaic cliches of documentary filmmaking. Talking head interviews do not provide the majority of this film, and when talking head interviews, one-to-one -one interviews are implemented, they are done so in a way which encourages the capturing of unusual activity, analysis of recorded audio, investigation of key locations, unusual recorded footage of possessions and occultist rituals, and the discovery of disturbing horrors, physical shocks such as finding a room in a house covered in ritualistic masks, and a woman hung from the ceiling, as well as psychological shocks such as the mysterious disappearance of human embryos, and footage of a young woman psychologically breaking as she is possessed mid-ritual. Naroi the Curse offers a wide variety of horror. Comparisons to other popular examples from the found footage and mockumentary horror genre may be apparent early on. The Blair Witch Project, with its heavily forested setting and a cast of at the time. Unrecognisable actors may be the most obvious comparison, but Naroi the Curse's most disturbing imagery feels reminiscent of Masaki Kobayashi's brilliant adaptation of Lafcadio Hearn's classic Kwaidan, a collection of short supernatural tales heavily inspired by traditional Japanese culture and folklore. Naroi the Curse holds ghostly, demonic, occultist qualities and establishes a threat completely out of human control, similar to the narratives on offer in Kwaidan. From ancient demons, Kobayashi spends time calling linguists, professors, and investigators for more information.
information on what and who Kagutaba is, gradually discovering it to be an ancient force of malice. To the relationship between evil and victim, Kobayashi's fate is an unknown darkness, but if he decided to stop investigating further into Kagutaba, he may still be safe, similar to how the fates of the characters in Kwaidana decided based on their own decisions to act against restriction. Yet unfortunately, Kobayashi's curiosity motivated him to strive further. Naroi the Curse feels heavily reminiscent of the classic Kwaidan, Naroi's protagonists sharing the same surname as Kwaidan's director. As if Naroi is a modern reinterpretation, instead of the tired, lonely samurai or the blind musician branded with inked charms, Naroi the Curse provides us with the accuracy of recorded visual footage, the isolation of background noise to provide clearer audio of unusual sounds, television, technology and traditional Japanese rituals come face to face in a conflict where neither side feels completely safe. One sequence demonstrates visual glitches as if the video recorded is being manipulated by a spiritual force, delivering glimpses into a bluish vision of something not quite distinguishable, yet distinguishable enough to be recognised as evil incarnate. Naroida Curse's camera and the numerous videotapes shown throughout the film capture enough to illustrate that evil has no human restriction and when awakened it cannot be stopped. In conclusion, Shiraishi's Noroi The Curse is an underrated Japanese horror film that embraces the found footage and mockumentary genres, exploring the extent these often low-budget sub-genres of horror can be used to terrify. Filled with twists and turns, never holding back from its disturbing imagery, Noroi The Curse delivers a multi-layered mystery that is impossible to solve, and yet offers a fascinating depth of understanding between human curiosity and the boundary-breaking nature of true evil. Noroi The Curse is a thematic reminder of possibly one of the most recognisable figures of speech, Curiosity Killed the Cat.